All right, hello there. My name is James Herndon, and this is my website called Shape Vector. I'm just going to give you a really quick tour. This is the alpha version. Currently, I'm the only user. What this website does is it connects Shapeways with Etsy using both APIs. So I decided to call it uh, Shape Vector, kind of a, a working title that might change in time. But in a nutshell, what it does is it taps into Etsy via the Etsy API and it pulls in all of your orders to this central location. And this is where you can manage your orders. And then from here, if you want to, you can directly place any order. You can see I have this place order button here. Now you can also upload a model for every order. So to kind of give you a brief idea of how this website is functioning for me and how I, I set it up, I need to kind of explain my tagging system here. So you can see the list of current tags is over here on the left. And so every time I get a new order, by default, you can see up here on the settings page, there's a whole bunch of different rules that you can set up. So every time a new order comes in, all of them get tagged with OO, which is my uh, designation for open order. And then I've set up all these other rules where if the item name contains uh, this text, for instance, it automatically gets this tag, which is BI for branding iron. So if somebody orders an electric branding iron from my shop, then it's automatically going to get this tag, etc., etc., etc. So back on the main page you can see that I have all of these different tags and I can then search by the tags so all of these ones with COR to me that means custom order and essentially you can set up your own tagging system your own set of rules and your own uh, way of tagging open orders or orders that you have to do something with later so everyone that's just a basic open order that comes in that I can have shapeways print and send directly to the customer I just Basically, after I've loaded in the new orders from Etsy, I just have to hit the place order button and boom, I'm done. I don't have to enter in any of their address information. All of this gets sent directly to Shapeways and then everything gets sent directly to the customer and they bill the credit card that I have on file. So it makes order processing super simple. Now, if I have a customer who orders an item, let's see if we can find one here. That's a good example. Like, let's see here. Like, so this one right here, uh, was one that I could have Shapeways just process directly. So when it came in, it came in from Etsy with the model number. Which, and this is the Shapeways model number, and here I'll go ahead and show you where that's at. Over on Shapeways, anytime you upload a model, Shapeways will give it a unique model number. That's this guy here. And then this other number here, the material ID, this is the material that you want it printed in. Uh, by, by Shapeways. So stainless steel is 23. There's a whole numbering system that they have. I'll go over here to this uh, spreadsheet I've put together. Um, like stainless steel here is 23, polished silver 54. I put these in bold because I use these the most often in my shop. Um, eventually on Shape Vector, I want to replace this with a pull down. Uh, and you can just pick the name of the material. Right now, you have to man either manually type in the number or let me go ahead and show you how that works over on my Etsy shop. Any one of my listings, like this one here, that I can just have Shapeways process directly, down here at the bottom of the description, I've put in the model number and the material. Now, this is what Shape Vector looks into in the Etsy order when it processes it, and it takes that number and those two numbers actually and it just automatically populates the model ID and the material material ID. So it's kind of a little bit of a, a workaround to basically put in our Etsy listing what the model number is and the material number is. It's just the last numbers at the bottom. And people never really notice this. They probably figure it's some internal thing. It probably looks kind of weird to somebody who's never been to my shop before, but I bet a lot of people don't even notice it. So let's find another one really quick. Let's go back to the to my main. Etsy shop, like here's one that probably has it. You can see there's the model ID number and the material that I would want it printed in every single time. So this also means you need to set up a different listing for every model that's gonna be sold in your Etsy shop in a different material. That's really easy to do though. So um, like my Wonder Woman necklaces here, see I've got one listed in uh, actually sterling silver and gold I actually had some white brass ones made not by Shapeways but um, so those ones I have in my own inventory 
but I've got some gold ones and I've got some sterling silver ones. So these ones have different, uh, they, they would have the same model number, but they have a different material number at the end. So then when the order comes in here into shape vector, you're going to see a different number in the material ID. So that's basically how it works. It feeds in the information automatically. If I have a custom order, like one that I need to customize myself, I put the COR tag on it. Um, once the customer has approved it via Etsy, I then swap out the, and I'll just show you how it works really quick here. I add in one of the other tags like AP, which my, is my little internal tag for approved. And then I delete the COR tag. And then, and I'm gonna go ahead and undo that because uh, that's not actually what the customer has done. So, um, so all my orders that have been approved, then if I click on the AP tag over here, show up over here and I've got four approved ones that are ready to be processed. And let's see if I can find one that's, let's go down here to the bottom. So, so this one right here, I've already uploaded. So here's the, the model number on Shapeways. Here's the material ID 23. And all I have to do to place this order is just hit place order. Um, drops in the Shapeways order number, puts in the target ship date, and then this is the best part. And I can click, I can get rid of the tag now. So this order has been completely taken care of. Uh, I no longer need any tags on it. If I need to search for this user, if they have a question or something about their order, there's a search box up here where I can put in their order number or their um, Etsy user ID, and we can track down their order. But the nice thing about it is the Shapeways order number becomes a clickable live link, so we can check on it, make sure that it did order the right model in the right material, stainless steel. And you can see it charged me this amount. It uses default shipping and it charged it to my credit card. So it handled it perfectly. And I should have gotten an email back in my Gmail saying that it's been processed. So it was that quick. I didn't have to copy paste any information. And when you have a ton to do, it's just basically click, click, click. But for the most part, if an order has been processed, the number gets put here into the Shapeways order number. You get a target ship date. And then this is the best part. I love this. Um, we have up here at the top of the screen this update tracking button. And if I run this and I try to run it about once a day, what it does is it scans. Let's go ahead and try it. Um, I think I already did it earlier, so it's uh, probably not going to update any orders. But what it does is it asks the Shapeways API, hey, do any of our open orders have tracking numbers yet? If they have a tracking number, um, shape vector grabs it, pulls it back in, and then it says, hey, Etsy, these Etsy orders have tracking numbers. Here, take them. And so it'll take them. You can see right here, it's telling us that it checked tracking information for 73 open orders, found tracking info for zero of them. That's because I already processed them earlier. But if it had found some, it would have given me some information here about how many it found, how many it updated over on Etsy, and then it would have given me the order numbers right here. Um, I'll just hit back to go back to the main shape vector page. And so basically you don't have to mark any of the orders on Etsy as shipped either because it's going to automatically stick that tracking number on the order. It's going to mark it as shipped and it's going to put in your default Etsy uh, notif shipping notification letter with it. So you have to have some of that kind of set up over on Etsy. If you've been selling on Etsy, you probably already do. So that's kind of it in a nutshell. I also, you know, sell or include things like gunmetal chains and black cords. Um, and for my branding irons, I include handles and branding irons. And all these things Shapeways doesn't make. So what I do is I ship these things out separately. And I mentioned that in my listing. I say, let's go ahead and find a good example of this over in my Shapeways shop. If you want to order this Swan Station pendant, you can see down here, here's the, the shape vector data. Um, you can pick if you want if just the pendant, if you want it with a black cord or if you want it with a gunmetal chain. And then when the order comes into shape vector, certain tags will get added. And I just shipped orders today, so I don't have any left that are GMSs. It looks like I have a black cord. Let's see what we got for black cord. I have one order with the black cord tag on it. And so uh, this tells me that this order, this person wanted a black, this was actually a custom order, but uh, they wanted a black cord with it. Um, so that means that at a certain point in time, I know I need to ship out um, a black cord to this customer. And I have a little tag on here, ship to me. 
um, STM. And that's when I am making something for the first time for a customer, it's usually a custom order. I have it shipped directly to me so I can take photographs of it before I send it on to the customer. And then I can list it in my shop for other people. Uh, it's essentially my little workaround there. And then every subsequent order after that just goes straight to the customer. So let's jump back to the main page and I'll kind of give you a quick demonstration of how that part functions. So if I were to add the BC um, tag to this order and I go back over to black chords, you can see that order now shows up here under black chords. And then what I would do is once a week when I go to ship orders, I go through and I scan through like all of my accessories that I send separate, like the black cord, blind, uh, branding irons, these are all the branding irons I need to send out, or all the soldering irons I need to send out to people who ordered the, the custom 3D printed tips from me. Handles, these are the handles I need to send to those customers who bought tips. And what I do is I add a TD tag to them, which is stands for today, so TD. And then, once I have a TD tag on all the orders that I want to ship that day, then I'll hit refresh here so you can see the TD tag show up here. I visit the TD uh, tag page, the search for TD. So it pulls up all the orders I want to ship that day and I hit download CSV. And what that does is it downloads a um, comma separated value text uh, file that I can then import into stamps.com. And then from there, it's super simple for me to just bulk print out all of my labels. And I use eight and a half, uh, two labels per sheet, uh, letter sized labels, sticky labels, and six by nine manila envelopes, padded envelopes. And I basically print out all my labels, stick them on all my envelopes, uh, pack them all up. And I can go into more detail about how I handle all the minor processes of my um, business here. But um, I really want this to be available for everyone out there and I don't want this video to go too long but in a nutshell shape vector is a place where you can manage in whatever fashion you see fit as long as you're okay working with a tagging sort of system like I do all of your Etsy orders to shapeways and it just totally simplifies the process it has given me back so much time per week just because placing orders are so so simple so it's, it's actually it's a really simple website to use I want to kind of clean up the the way it looks and add some more features it only supports one user right now I'd like to open it up to multiple users but I'm trying to kind of gauge the interest before I put a whole bunch of time and money into version 2.0 of the website uh, so anyhow, that's about it. Uh, I really appreciate you watching the video. And if you are interested, please go to the link that I will post for signing up. And that's just, you know, throw your name on there and your email address just so I can uh, get an idea of how many people out there are interested. And then I can let you be the first to know when the website is open for beta testers. All right. Thank you very much.